tarot I'm just doing a quick walkthrough of the Bonefire Tarot. I did give a review and um, this is just a walkthrough because I thought after the review I really want to show the cards. So it comes in the big box with a nice big book. Unfortunately the cards will be split in there. So um, the book is really nice. Coloured pictures, lots of information but not yeah quite a lot of information i think it's quite a me to read but it's very readable and what i really like is a glossary of the burn fire symbols very handy right so let's start the journey there we've got the fool i can't see number one but it's also written down there Let's move you in a bit more. Okay. Now, where did we see number one? I can't see it anymore, but on every page, she's just got that. She's got her symbols over there on the on the corners. Uh, there's the number one. So that's the magician. It's a little baby. I like that the Empress kind of sad and jaded. Because that's how I feel it would be after building a big empire. With all glory comes a lot of responsibility. Diggy's acolytes. There's the number five, the hierophant. So it's really good. And you, all your symbols are there. So this is a very good deck um, if you want to stick to the right away base. You know, I think if you're quite new to Terra, you could still find everything in there. I'll try and speed it up a bit. There's, you know, the chariot. He's got the angel star canopy. Of course, you're black and white, but they're dogs. <laughs> um, the, the, you know, the fire on the wheel gives you a sense of speed. You've got number seven. Chariot. So every card has got its number on it and its title as well as being down there. I had to stare at that to get, oh right, there's the lion, the strong hand, there's the infinity sign. And the other symbols that give you clues to the card's meanings and implications, which is really handy. The hermit, his eyes are closed because he's seeing with his third eye, yeah, using his intuition. Lone wolf, wise owl, just brilliant. Justice, number 11, justice. Oh, it's plates, it's, you know, it's just... This is so well done. This is so refreshing, so exciting. I'm so glad I bought this. The Hanged Man. Death. There's the number 13. And I think that if I read in the book, I'll find out what she's saying there. But I think it's just different ways of saying death. Death's roses are there. The sign for Scorpio. Dig temperance. I mean, it makes you think of drinking wine as well. But the irises, I think, are there. Balance, balance. Love the devil. There's his number fifteen. The bitten apple temptation. 
vices, gambling and drink. She's got a fag in her mouth. You know, it's just wonderful where he's, she's there in his arms, he's cradling her. But she needs to break free and get away from it all. And perhaps she does take the feet in the tower. I am just so keen to use this deck. The star. Black wine bottles, eh? The moon. So if you want to check the symbols out there, you'd go in your book. Um, and find out exactly what pencil and paintbrush means. Or would you? But yeah, so it's, you know, it's really nice. The sun. Judgment. Number 20. The time. There's even a horn. The world. Ones. Ace of Wands. Remember I said the pine cones are there for a valid reason. They're not just for fun. They represent the penal gland, which is where our energy and our spirit and our third eye and all the things that are connected with the flame, the, with the element of fire and, and the suit of wands is. So she's used pine cones. Five of Wands conquers. Took me a while to get that. Some of the drawing, you know, is a bit um, obscure, but I like. I'm liking it because once you get it, you get it. And you want a deck you can get your teeth into every now and then. Seven of Wands. Oh, he's actually riding a horse. You see, I didn't see that. It's big tree. Eight of Wands. There's all your symbols. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. Ten. I love finding them. Yeah. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. There is her black cat. King of Wands. Ace of Swords. And it's split the apple in two. You'll keep seeing the bone fire on the cards. Right, there's the two. Three crying eyes. There's your bonfire and more symbols. Four of swords. She's taking a relaxing bath. This is so nice. Oh, five of swords. I will have to read that one up. He's okay, so you know it's unfair. Um, victory I suppose or a victory at a cost because if they've been fighting over her they've both lost her she's wandered off six of swords lovely just so cute see how she's using balloons um, as well as feathers and things to show the the sign the air, some the air element in, in swords. There's the seven of swords. <laughs> He's wearing a a classic um, burglar's outfit. You know the the white and black stripes, the prisoner stripes. Eight of swords. Nine 
of swords so you'd go in your book and you'd find out what chess pieces mean in in there and um enlighten yourself so when you read it again mm. chess board empire culture society chestnut chess pieces Our position in society, so that's obviously what's brought about her worries. Worrying about how she looks, how she appears. Ten of swords, vultures. You know, it's dark enough, a bit of blood, but not too much. Page of swords. It is right. Knight of Swords. Actually, the light's beginning to fade, isn't it? Is that too much? Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Swallows would mean something. Diamond. And I'm going to look up later. I'm going to look up the baby in his arms. Right, one, two cups. Always like a decent ace of cups. I mean, it's got power. Yeah, I just like every card in this deck. Two of cups. There they are. Two of cups. So clever. Three of cups. That does make me think of like drunken nights with your friends. <laughs> Four of cups. And look how. The branch holds the cup to her. Five of cups, loss. Five of cups. And he's got the fiver tattooed on his arm. It's so actually quite nice that the spare is there, isn't it? The cups floating down the river. There's the two upright ones, of course. Six of cups. That's the element sign, not his costume, I imagine. And there is the, is the water sign, the Scorpio, I think that is, I'm not sure. Six of cups, right? Seven of cups, all his options. Eight of cups. Just love it. Keeping in... Tune with the right away representation of the eight cups with something missing. Nine of cups. <laughs> Look, he's made an appearance as a portrait there. Ten of cups. Picnic. So I bet you, if you looked in the book Picnic, you could get why she's used that. Ten of cups. Oh, of course, you should explain it in, in, in the page that pertains to the card. So everything is ex properly and thoroughly explained. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Dreamers. Queen of Cups. King. Of cups and on to pentacles ace sorry about that two they're the boats it's just brilliant three four all the riches hiding in these trees. Five. Six. There is a purse. It took me a while, but it's a purse. So you've got the give and take generosity. But again, that's one I'll be looking up in the book. Because it's veered a little bit from right away. Seven of coins. Same there. Now, 
that has got to be the artist and author Gabby Angus West at her work with her jumper unraveling back into a ball working late at night focused you know brilliant anyways uh, nine of coins Oh yeah, there's the bird. You see, like I was thinking, hmm, but I get it, yeah. The bountiful garden, the stable home, the disciplined bird. Ten of coins. So you don't actually have the people, but you have their dog. You have their washing on the washing line. That is lovely. A page of coins making lemon from lemons and um, you know it's industrial young youthful industry I think it she described it so it's lovely knight of coins conquers that's the oak I suppose and the ploddingness of the the tortoise steady but sure grounded Queen of Pen coins. She's calling them coins. Sorry, I just naturally call them pentacles. Queen of coins with her bountiful harvest, but and sadly her rabbit is in a pie. But he's got his whiskers, so it's just, just for fun. King of coins. He's got lots of bounty generous giving he's overindulged a little bit but hey ho and that is the wonderful wonderful bone fire tarot which i certainly highly highly recommend and i'm so glad i got it thank you gabby angus west and god bless you